I find this position very interesting to talk about some key ideas in Sicilian or against Sicilian. This position arises from Sicilian con variation, Sicilian pin variation, and why it is completely winning. The purpose is not to show the tactic but the ideas. So let me go in and show up the piece sacrifice here. Okay, white sacrifice the piece and gives a check and black king goes away. What do you do next? You have two attackers, bishop and the queen. What do you do next? Do you bring the next attacker to the game? This is a crucial mistake. This is a misunderstanding about the position. If you don't understand what's the reason that in many lines of Sicilian, not just Sicilian con or pin, many lines of Sicilian you see queen on a5. This queen takes care of the fifth rank and that's a very good job by this queen. For example, here can take care of e5 pawn and now white has nothing. White cannot uh, win. White is the one only losing, sacrifice the piece for no reason. You cannot even kick this queen because queen can be defended with the bishop and still keep eye on uh, important square g7. So white is completely losing here. Now that you understood that e5 pawn is very important, what should you do? You should protect it. If you protect it, isn't too slow? Actually, even if you protect it with a pawn, it's good. Because let's say whatever black does, next you bring the rook and deliver mate. But another crucial point I want to talk about is how to protect this e5 pawn actively when you sack a piece. Right. Don't give a tempo to black, don't give a chance to black to escape. Don't give them a choice, just force them to move. Defend the pawn after the king goes, final crucial move. Right, limit the king, this is a silent move but limits the king. And black should give up a queen to not get mated early, otherwise if black tries to defend the mate then this is the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like.